Huh? You going to the toilet ah? Uh. Ah. Oh, eh, you know how your urine usually pass out or not? Huh? Transport through the maturation process. No. Uh, let me tell you what is maturation process for this video. Oh, okay. Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology class. Today we are going to learn the physiology of maturation. Before we go, before we, we are going to learn about the maturation process. Yeah, we have to know what organs or structure that's involved in this process. So the first part is the kidney. The urine, ah, uh, yeah, the kidneys look like the red beans and the urine is passed through a muscular tract which is called urethra into the bladder and stored inside the bladder and if if one to eliminate the out of our body it will pass through the urethra to outside yes so which parts that actually control the storing and the voiding of the urine so this is the bladder it so the storing, the elimination of urine actually is controlled controlled by this muscle called the detrusor muscle, the internal sphincter that's which located below the, our bladder. The pro the protate, the protase, the external sphincter, and the urethra. As as far you've seen, the urethra is quite long in the length, right? So actually, this is a male urine, uni, urinary system and then for the female one sorry uh, for the female one sorry i didn't draw on this screen but for the female uh, female the urethra is quite short and female ure urinary tract don't have the internal sphincter so this is the difference between the male and female urinary system so then let's see what receptor which is controlling the, the contraction and relaxations of the muscle which will uh, control the elimination and storage of the urine. So at the detrusor muscle, there's one, there's two receptor. One is the muscarinic three receptor, and then the other one is beta three receptor. And then at the internal sphincters, there's alpha one receptor, the external wall at the external sphincter, there's a nicotinic receptor. So all those receptors will re re you will receive the signal from the uh, central nervous system and control the story and eliminations of the urine. So as what you see, this is our CNS central nervous system, the high brain, the point which is the maturation center, so it's control the whole process, the maturation process. Yeah. So in the central nervous system part, the thoracic and the sacral part, you control this process. So, well, guys, that's all the structure of the which involves in the, the maturation process. So the process I will be present, uh, present it later. Thank you. Right now, we will talk about the maturation reflex and also the voiding reflex. Over here, we can see there's an empty bladder where you have low volumes of urine. Uh, and over here, there's a stretch receptor on the diffuser mus muscles. So the stretch receptor will send slow impulses through the uh, sensory pelvic nerve to the sacral region of the spinal cord and send impulses to the thoracic lumbar region which will activate the hypogastric nerve, this red one, and in turn will activate the beta 3 receptors on the detrusor muscles which will cause relaxation. Uh, this will help us to hold urine. At the same time, the hypogastric nerve will also activate the alpha-1 receptors present on the internal sphincters and causing contraction, which will also cause a positive effect to help us retain urine. Next, we see that uh, the low volumes of urine, the maturation center actually uh, can sense it and send imp sends impulses to activate the hypogastric nerve and also activate the pudendal nerve.
So this pudendal nerve will activate the nicotinic receptors which are present on the external sphincters and causing it to contract which will also help us to retain urine. Over here the only uh, inhibited nerve is the efferent pelvic nerve uh, which in turn the M3 receptors are not activated and overall it causes a relaxation of the detrusor muscles which will help us retain urine inside the bladder. Okay, now let's look at the diagram over on the right side which is the full bladder. Over here the stretch receptors will send an increasing fire, uh, firing signals of the afferent pelvic nerve to the sacral region again but over here it will bypass the thoracic uh, lumbar region towards the micturition center and cause an activation which will then uh, send nerve impulses to the thoracic lumbar region and inhibit the hypogastric nerve. So when you inhibit the hypogastric nerve, the beta 3 receptors are not activated. Hence, it will cause a contraction, uh, contraction of the detrusor muscles. And at the alpha-1 receptors, when it is inhibited, it will cause a relaxation of the internal sphincters, hence helping us to pass out urine, or which you call voiding. And another uh, nerve that is inhibited is the pudendal nerve. Uh, it will inhibit the nicotinic receptors and hence causing a relaxation of the external sphincters sphincters. Hence, you can see it's like an opening of the ureter, uh, urethra, uh, sorry, uh, and will help us to pass out urine. The only nerve that is activated here is the efferent uh, pelvic nerve, which is in, uh, activated the M3 receptors, which will cause a contraction of the detrusor muscles of the bladder, hence helping us to pass out urine which is voiding. So what actually helps us to continue pass out urine is the voiding reflex. So over here at the detrusor muscles, we have the stress receptors. It will continue to send signals to the sacral region of the spinal cord. This is actually a, an interneuron uh, impulse and it will send uh, with impulses to the pelvic nerve efferent pelvic nerve, which will active, continue activating the M3 receptors on the uh, detrusor muscles. The detrusor muscles and will continue to contract, contract and the, hence the urine can be passed out, which is called the voiding reflex. Uh, we hope you can understand the maturation uh, reflex or process of urination or voiding and uh, have a better understanding of how urine is transport out of the body. Thank you.